In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference in project template generation in the latest Ionic framework versions. So currently Ionic App Scripts has been changed to generate a page without a module. So for example, if we head up into our terminal and we select Ionic generate page and we can say hello world, we can see of course that we have generated a page named hello world. If we take a look at how that page looks, it contains a component, a style sheet, and a template view. In prior versions, it did also contain the Ionic page decorator and a feature module. So let's quickly have a look at how we can navigate to this page, and then we'll make ourselves a feature module and also look how we can navigate to this using lazy loading. So if we're on the home page and we of course make ourselves a button with a click event of navigate, we can make a function named navigate and say this.navcontrol.push. And if we're using lazy loading, we can of course use a string, but otherwise when we're not using lazy loading, we have to import the page. So let's import that page by saying import from hello world with the page of hello world. As a result, we can use navcontrol.push to navigate to that page. So we can say navigate to hello world page without lazy loading. So the final thing to do now that we're obviously navigating to this page, we need to include this in our root app module. So in order to import this, we can say import from pages, hello world, hello world and we want to import the hello world page and add this to the declarations and also the entry components. So the entry components, whenever we have a page, i.e. not a specific component, it should be added to the entry components array. As a result, we're adding the hello world page into that array. And if we select navigate, we are navigated to our hello world page as expected. But if we comment this out, and I'm also going to comment out the import here, and we say navigate to the hello world page with lazy loading, and we try this.navcontrol.push and pass in hello world page inside of a string, you'll notice that when we select navigate, we do get this invalid link for the hello world page. So let's see how we can fix this. What we need to do is add the Ionic page decorator into our hello world page. And to use Ionic page, we need to import that from Ionic Angular. And we also need to generate a feature module. So let's say hello world.module.ts. So let's start off by importing from Angular Core, we need to import ng module. We can then use the ng module decorator to construct a module. And I'll also export a class named the hello world module. Our module will import the Ionic page module and the Ionic page module comes from Ionic Angular. Inside of this, we can say for child. So we're essentially providing this page to the Ionic page module. And the page that we are referencing is of course, hello world. So we can import our hello world page from the hello world file. And we can pass this to our imports. We also need to declare the fact that this module contains the hello world page. So add this to the list of declarations. And now we have the ability to lazy load this module. So if we navigate back to home.ts, we are providing the name of our page as a string. And to make sure it's not being loaded in our root app module, we can head over to our app module.ts and we can comment out the hello world page, both from the declarations and the entry components, as well as our imports at the top here. 
So if we select navigate once again, you'll find that we are navigated to the Hello World page. And this is verified correctly inside of the navigation bar. When we hit up Ionic Serve, we can see that our nav bar correctly notices that we are lazy loading. And of course, now we have URL deep links. So you will now find that the standard generation template does no longer include a feature module. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to use lazy loading inside of your application. If you do, then of course, now you have to generate your own module. And if you don't, you can always simply import the page and use it without quotation. So this has been a review of the template changes and also at the same time we've looked at how we can navigate to a route both implicitly and with our lazy loading techniques. So if you're getting any sort of error, this is most likely why. So I suggest that you review the techniques that we've looked at inside of this video and adapt your project accordingly.